Recently, we left our home in South Korea for a five-day vacation in Osaka, Japan. While we're there, we visited Universal Studios, explored one of the most iconic food streets in the world, visited Osaka Castle, ate ramen, and lots of other stuff. In this video, we travel from plane from Jeju to Osaka, we navigate the trains unexpectedly soon, and with various levels of success, uh, to get to our hotel room at the Universal Port Hotel, and we see the Universal City Walk for the first time. We are at Jeju International Airport, and we're on the international side, which is much smaller than the domestic we're going to side. Osaka. <laughs> we're going to Osaka, Japan today. We're going to go for uh, five days, so Sunday to Friday, and we have lots of fun stuff planned. We're really excited about it, and this is our first time going to Japan. After a one hour, 25 minute flight, we landed in Kansai International Airport and picked up our pocket Wi-Fi from Ninja Wi-Fi that I'd already booked on Kluk. If you travel to Japan, I highly recommend getting a Wi-Fi hotspot. It was about 55 US dollars for five devices for six days and it was quick and easy to pick up at the airport. This isn't sponsored, but I will link in the description for Ninja Wi-Fi and Kluk. The airport. That's where we're going up here, right? We arrived at the airport and we were supposed to take an airport limousine to our hotel, but it turns out they stopped about an hour ago. It's only like six or seven o'clock. They stopped at five o'clock, maybe on Sundays, but um, we didn't want to take the subway as our first adventure, but it looks like that is our only option. I so. get a taxi, but it's like a hundred. It's about $150 for us to take a taxi, so. Really? That ain't it. So let's assume. Okay, we're, uh, we're waiting for a to get our tickets. We're not really sure if we're in the right line or if we're in the right place or where we're going to go when we get the ticket or really what's going to happen, but we don't want to spend $150 on a taxi, so we're going to see how this works. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we uh, we're fools. We're standing in that lineup, but we just had to walk up to that blue machine and print our tickets very, very quickly and very easily. So, anyway, the more you know. Do you have three? We put our tickets through the machine and then we pick them up on the other side. And we still have them. I guess we need them for our transfer. Which track are we going? It's all in Japanese. So we gotta figure out where we're going. 12, 10, 600. <laughs> so, it's a little bit stressful to begin with. We're not sure how we're getting to the hotel yet. So I'm sure it'll all be fine, but happy to be on a train again. station and then we've been walking down the city walk and Martin's starting to put it together what this we have going on. We're at the Universal Studios. 
That's right. And what do they have in Universal Studios? I can't explain it. I don't think so. He hasn't really put it together. He's, he's putting and the pieces together, though. And we just saw a roller coaster. We did see a roller coaster. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah? We might go on the road. Wow! We've been traveling for a few hours now. It's been, it's been an emotional day. So the, the park is over here, and we're staying at one of the Universal Hotels, but the one that's just, just off the city walk there, this is the Universal Port Hotel. We booked it a few weeks ago, and I'm excited to see inside. We're gonna stay here for three nights. So Dominic is just checking in for us. <laughs> we booked this a few weeks ago on booking.com. Um, I guess like they have minion rooms and stuff in the hotel. We did not get a minion room, uh, but we have four beds, which is great because a lot of the hotels we were looking at would be like for four people to be like one bed and it was not enough. Um, so we're really happy to be four beds. The kids are so excited. It's, um, it's almost nine o'clock. It's way past their bedtime. We still haven't eaten, but we're very excited. Okay, we just got in. One last obstacle of the day is uh, we got here and realized that we only have one luggage. We think that Dominic might have left it either downstairs or on the elevator or somewhere. So he's gonna look for that other piece of luggage wherever we left it. And uh, we're here to check out our hotel room. This is our luggage. Did you steal some of the luggage? No, there's no one else. Nobody else would be foolish enough to leave their luggage on the, uh, the elevator. <laughs> But anyway, we got all of our luggage, <laughs> we made it, our plane tickets worked, we ended up getting to uh, Universal Studios, and we made it. We are so excited. We'll do a room tour for you guys in the morning. Okay, welcome to our room at the Universal Port Hotel, just outside Universal Studios. We got the four bedroom room, meaning the four bedroom room, <laughs> is what she said. So we ended up with four beds. And as you can see, there are four, four single beds. Um, you can push them together, they move pretty easily. Um, it's a pretty standard room. It is quite big for Japan and Osaka. We have got um, the beds over here and over in the middle between these two beds is where we can put all of our charging stuff and we can control all of the lights, which is nice. The lights can go up and down and we can charge everything. On the beds, they have got uh, two types of pillows. One is like a buckwheat pillow. The other is a standard slash buckwheat pillow pillow. They are pretty comfortable. The kids took, it took a little while to get used to. Um, they definitely don't feel like a normal pillow that I'm used to, but I've really enjoyed sleeping on them. I feel really good. I would consider getting one. The television plays um, movies from Universal Studios pretty much all day long. So you flick through it and you can see Minions, Harry Potter, um, advertisements for Super Mario World because the Super Mario movie is not really out to view yet, but I'm sure that once it is, if you're watching this in the future, it will be there. We have got the fridge and the safe down here. Our view is of Osaka Bay. Blackout curtains. Um, it's really nice at night. The park is on the other side, so we're looking at the bay. So there's two views you could get. You could get the park view, which would be fun, but the bay is also really nice, and sometimes you can see like the Santa Maria. When you first enter the hotel room, you get into this little area here. When you look over here, there is a closet. It actually comes with robes and slippers. Not so much robes as like a dressing gown or a nightgown, but there is like a small one for Jeannie and small slippers for Jeannie, which are the cutest things. Um, she looks adorable. Uh, into this room here is our, I guess our water closet. It has the toilet. So in here is the toilet. It has a bidet and it flushes automatically. It's got this little tiny sink here next to it so you can kind of rinse off of your hands after you use the bathroom and you can have your privacy in there. Then when you go into this room, it's the second part of the bathroom of three parts. In here is kind of the sink area. We've got all of our towels. Um, the toiletries, it does come with like shampoo and stuff, but if you want anything like extra like razors and stuff, they actually have an amenities bar downstairs. So you can just grab what you need um, and that's all available. So 
We have got here, you can go and wash your hands. There's always soap and stuff available. They have like the big bottles, which is really nice because um, if you think about like the little single serving ones, how many of those get thrown away in the run of a day. So they've got the, the large bottles there. And then if you move, continuing on into our bathroom tour, into here, <laughs> we have got the shower and bathroom. Um, there's a super deep tub. Everybody's had a nice bath while we were here. And it kind of has the, I guess the Japanese traditional style where you would shower and clean yourself outside here in like the wet bath area and then you could get into the bathtub. Um, but solid shower, solid bath, fills up really good. Had a lovely bubble bath, absolutely love it. It's kind of a learning curve, uh, turning on the shower and figuring out all of the taps. But I think that's just me because I always have a learning curve when I get into a new bathroom. Yeah, that's our, our three-part bathroom. I feel like this is like the biggest part of the hotel room, but. And that is it. We don't have like a little kitchenette area. There is a little spot for like a tea maker and stuff. That is our room at the Universal Port Hotel and we're super happy with it so far.